What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Figure It Out, Out of the Basement's Black Series talk show. I'm Nate, joined with Justin. What's up, guys? And today, we've got an absolutely loaded episode for you. Tons of news, some news we missed out on, some new news, and a little bit of housekeeping. Whoa. Before we jump into all of that, though, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. So, Justin, some housekeeping. Yes, yesterday was my birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Everyone say happy birthday because I'm conceited and I need you to comment that you so I can get my personal satisfaction. You need validation from strangers online. Second in housekeeping, the real housekeeping, we have experienced a little change with YouTube. Mm -hmm. They kind of switched up their site a little bit, particularly by separating uploads like regular videos, live streams, and shorts. So now when you click on a YouTube channel, it should default to their upload list. And if you do that, you won't see our live streams. It's kind of annoying. You have to actually tab over to the live stream tab to see like all of our live streams. I like how it was before mm -hmm. where it just uploaded as a VOD and everyone could watch it. We've actually already seen a slight dip in views as a result of this not the biggest deal in the world but if you're looking for the streams if you're the type of person that watches our replays you got to go to the live stream tab and lastly for housekeeping i just wanted to say and get this right out of the way at the beginning of the video because we took the stream off last sunday mm -hmm. which was halloween weekend we were partying it up going a little nutty mm -hmm. maybe a little too nutty and there were some pretty amazing reveals on Saturday, which was the MCM London Comic Con. Mm -hmm. We didn't get to talk about those, so yeah, it's pretty much taking us an entire week, which I know some people are like, old news, like you guys are supposed to be on top of it. A, we never claim to be like the number one fastest news source. This isn't so much a news report. This is more of a talk show. It's more yeah. personal and it's more opinion oriented. So even if we're late by like an entire week, like we are today, the idea is that you like seeing what our opinions are and mm -hmm. it's just mm -hmm. a discussion. We're never gonna beat Luke Ness Monster is what I'm trying to say. I mean, that's why we say Black Series talk show. Yeah, <laughs> or Land Speeder Luke for that matter. If you want the news like right away, there are other sources to do that. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a talk show. So just you know, converse in the comments and be here with us. But that's it for the housekeeping. So let's jump into the latest news. We'll get that going right away, mm -hmm. which is the latest Bring Home the Galaxy reveal. We've got one TVC and one Black Series figure to discuss. First up, TVC fans, you are now getting Cassian Andor, Aldani Mission. Yeah, kind of looks the same as the Black Series. Yeah. It's a pretty cool figure. I like when Black Series and TVC get similar things mm -hmm. because I don't like the infighting that we do right. between the Black Series and the McDonald's Happy Meal line. So just stop <laughs> fighting over it. Stop fighting. I'll give you $5 to leave this in. <laughs> I kid, I kid. <laughs> and for Black Series, we are getting a figure that was revealed for TVC, and now we're getting it. Yeah. So a little flip-flop this yeah. week, and that is Vel from the Andor series. Another Andor figure, you know, Andor, it's a pretty fantastic show. I don't think anyone is denying that, but I think there is just something about these Andor figures that is leaving most collectors with a lot to be desired. I think Mike Case from Black Series Cantina sums it up pretty well that they're just not toyetic. Mm -hmm. Like with Mando, I feel like you can get away with doing whole waves of Mando because you have like droids, you have helmeted characters which always sell better. This is a lot of regular looking human characters mm -hmm. in otherwise kind of normal clothing. Yeah, and I forget who said it in our little group chat, but someone said that Vel looks like a G.I. Joe figure. Yeah, and I can see that. 100%. It I, looks like she has like an AK. Yeah, if you told me Vel was a G.I. Joe's classified figure, I'd probably be like, okay, I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> so It is cool, though. The barrel extends mm -hmm. and the stock does like flap, folds over. Yeah. It's kind of cool. The figures look great and they, again, are 
pretty much all new sculpts as well. So for Yeah, I think Vel is a new sculpt as well. For people who are super into Andor and want these figures, that is awesome that they are doing these figures. But at the same time, Justin, you and I were talking about it. And just as hardcore Star Wars fans were like, this is new tooling that could be used for something a little bit more iconic. I mean, we get it. I can't They help. have to make these figures for the new media. There's no way around it. That's never going to go away. So we can just stop pretending like if we complain enough it will right it's more of like a fantasy complaint like it's just new tooling where in my mind i'm like oh that's new tooling that's new tooling budget that could be going towards like super battle droid yeah. but i understand that's separate and it's like well i don't want fans of andor to not get these figures just <laughs> so i can have what i want right so right. it's you know i kind of go back and forth it's cool for people who are big fans of Andor and want all these characters. But again, that is a pretty common complaint with the line is that they go too hard on new media stuff. They mm -hmm. go too hard on Mando, Andor, Kenobi, Bad Batch even, a little bit. Yeah. But mainly Mando. Yeah, mainly Mando. <laughs> yeah. Either way, if you want to pick this figure up, you can definitely do that in the near future. And... Yeah, I'm really just curious to see how all of these Andor figures are actually going to sell. Yeah, I think everything here is already up for pre-order. Today that we're recording, November mm -hmm. 1st, might be tomorrow, which would have been two days ago for you guys watching. For Vel, I think she's in Wave 36, so mainline release should be very easy to get. And then in a surprising twist, this past Saturday, the London Comic Con, MCM London Comic Con, had a Black Series and TVC panel and uh, announced a whole sleuth of bangers. It was very odd <laughs> going from the premium fan stream event with yeah, the, the Boba repack, the new Cal, and Din Djarin, the Morak disguise, which were kind of lukewarm, not really all that well received by the community. And then the very next day or two days later, they just bombshell yeah that's which, where the title comes into play the black series is back because just after that stream event and then we get these and then we had to skip the stream and i'm just like <laughs> ah. no yeah so yeah with that being said why couldn't they have you know sprinkled one of maybe you know, one of these into the 1027 stream. Yeah, Robo and, over know. at the Foosh makes a pretty good point. Like, why would you have a stream where it's like one event is like almost repacks, a head swap, one new figure, and then you just have all these bangers. Yeah. Like, balance it out a little bit. So let's start out with the two figures that I'm obviously most excited about yes. here. I think a lot yes. of people are excited, but we did finally get to see Bastila Shan and Darth Malak, mm -hmm. both gaming greats, mainline figures, which Justin, is this possibly the death of GameStop exclusive only gaming greats? I don't think so. You wanna know my theory? Let's hear it. I think when it comes to gaming figures that are either a brand new sculpts like Cal Kestis or Darth Malak, mm -hmm. Bastila Shan does reuse Orising slash hold those legs, mm -hmm. but otherwise looks new. I think for brand new figures that are gaming characters, they're gonna put it in the gaming greats box, slap the sticker on it, put it in mainline because they invested the money into the tooling. So I just feel like they wanna maximize their profit mm -hmm. off of that new tool and have it available like everywhere. Walmart, yep. Target, Amazon, Walgreens, fan channels. And that would make a lot of sense considering the three mainline gaming greats figures we have seen are mostly new tools. So, yes, these are technically based on the Knights of the Old Republic remake, which is currently, like, in limbo at this point. Yeah, Eric did say that when they were initially pipelined. There was some confusion we had yeah. about that. I, I think in general, though, the costumes are almost identical. Maybe there's some minor differences here and there, but I look at Bastila, I see Bastila. I look at Darth Malak, and I see Darth Malak, which to me 
is the most important thing when it comes to these figures. And I think they both look incredible. Mm -hmm. Bastila looks like she's going to have some really nice articulation, which is very important for a Jedi. Not only a Jedi, but a double-bladed lightsaber wielding Jedi. I was going to say, first yellow lightsaber in the Black series. Yep. And it's double-bladed. I mean, that's cool. I think these figures are also accurate to that mobile star wars game yeah galaxy of heroes galaxy of microtransactions yeah <laughs> galaxy of play for five minutes have a lot of fun and then the grind sets in psycho emerald thank you for that joke yeah darth malik looks absolutely incredible the m mouth guard piece is going to be removable yeah. or something to some degree which is awesome mm -hmm. they kind of tease it in one of the promo yeah, right, photos right. and the detail just looks so good i'm just yeah. so ready for these figures now justin as someone who's not necessarily like the biggest kotor fan how are you feeling about them they're iconic it's the same thing with star killer i have not played the force unleashed all the way through mm -hmm. but i'd pick up a star killer in a minute just because of their iconic status in the franchise and it's like everyone knows them everyone knows revan mm -hmm. everyone knows malik everyone knows bastila mm -hmm. everyone knows star killer and there's a few other on this list as well that i'm going to be picking up just based on how iconic they are and how important they are to the lore mm -hmm. whether that be legends or canon because we also have a few other lucasfilm publishing figures <sighs> these next three figures again I, my socks were already blown off with the KOTOR, but then this is just like icing on the cake. Right. And then after that, we got sprinkles and ice cream on the side. We do. So the first one we should talk about is Mike yep. from Task Force 99 Scar Squadron, which is the one with the blue visor that sort of lights up. Mm -hmm. And he also has like the jet pack thing and it like expands. Mm -hmm. So it's almost like a little feature yeah. on the jet pack and it's... Held in by friction. It's not a peg. Right. I'm curious to see how this is going to work out in the long run. Because some of the pegs don't even work for backpacks. Right. So I'm like, when I saw it was no peg, I was like, okay. Yeah, but it's, you know, 2020 Stormtrooper body. I will take every single iteration. It's the perfect trooper body in the Black Series. It's the best trooper body they have ever done, period. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I will just take every iteration of that body and Mike is the perfect fit for still using that body. It's not like the larger one, you know, the wrecker mm -hmm. of the group where they would have to do a new sculpt. Give me even more. Give me the sniper with the cloak. Yeah, I think the sniper's probably the next member of Scar Squadron. We'll see because that one is just like straight up a stormtrooper with a cloak on. Yeah. Like no different like helmet details or anything so mm -hmm. yeah another member of scar squadron that is awesome and then this next one is a massive massive w for legends fans and this is a figure that has been requested for ages and that is mara jade we are finally getting a mara jade one of the biggest most important legend characters of all time mm -hmm absolutely fan favorite one probably one of the most requested figures period the photo reel looks so good yeah she looks absolutely incredible it reuses the jaina solo body mm -hmm. which i'm always down to see them use the jaina solo body again because it's great it's it's one of the best articulated black series figures period yeah she, especially for like a woman character she has ab crunch and then another crunch and then a swivel that's insane. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah, especially for a woman figure from Hasbro, too, which, because we all know they're notorious about eliminating articulation from the female figures. Mar Jade looks absolutely epic. She's got her scarf, she's got her goggles, she's got the black tank top on. How do you feel about the packaging when you open the flap and then it's just the regular Black Series box? I kind of think it's really stupid. If I'm going to be completely <laughs> honest with you. Because I'm like, what is the point of having the flap? Yeah, I know some people didn't like the execution of the War of the Bounty Hunters Boba Fett where you opened it and you could see the figure. There was just no window there. Mm. But I kind of liked that. Like you could still... I liked it better than what this is. Yeah, you could still see the figure. Now, granted, in stores, this could ob that would obviously cause like 
an unbelievable amount of problems with the yeah, figure just fair. being that's fair out in the open with nothing over it but i still think that it does look just incredibly silly for them to just flip it open and then it's a normal black series box right i think that they could have just done you know like a different piece of art or something right there yeah true it's kind of whatever i would yeah. still pick it up because right. i'm gonna open it but just a side note i just thought it was silly it's like when you it's like that typical dad joke when mm -hmm. they're opening a christmas present they open it up oh it's another box yeah like it's just odd it's just a little yeah. odd it does look weird up next is dr afra hey this is the final reveal that we were able to see aside from the pipeline stuff and she looks good yeah this is the second dr afra figure we're getting in the line it also reuses the jana solo body except for the arms this okay. is a little bit of a different afra the original one we got was her sleeveless look with the like orange it's like a class tank top yeah this one is a little bit more updated she is in a trench coat but to me as someone who missed dr afra i'm not missing her a second time because yeah. that figure, that original figure, one of the most expensive Black Series yep. figures of all time. It was one that I slept on. It was part of, I'm pretty sure, the wave with Ezra in it, which was just a notoriously... Maybe, yeah. Notoriously, and droids are up there, too. Right. Notoriously hard wave of figures to actually find. So it's great that we're getting her back out in the line. And it's a different look, so people who already have that other figure could still want to pick up this one as well. So, yeah. I'm grabbing her. I'm not letting Dr. Afra slip through my fingers one more time. So I'm going to finally add her to the shelf. And Hasbro, let's get the droids back out too. Because those <laughs> things are like pushing triple digits. Right. Triple zero is pushing triple digits. Literally. Aftermarket. <laughs> Literally. And then finally, we have the Pipeline Wave, which is... 20th Clone Wars galore. Three of the four Pipeline reveals. And they are... Ahsoka from season three. The Magna Guard Nate. Bro. The Clone Trooper Phase 2 regular, which finally. Right. And Omega from season two of the Bad Batch. Yes. The Magna Guard Nate. Yes. What the heck? What a bombshell announcement. Absolutely unbelievable that this, everything that they revealed at, at this stream, Pipeline normal reveals just absolutely insane this is how you do an event yeah if you want to hype people up this is a pretty good example of how to hype people up solid reveals mm -hmm. no renders and the pipeline is just like chef's kiss cherry on top ahsoka from season three yep. we were just talking about it yeah i was we gonna were just say talking about it. we were literally talking about how much we would love to see this version of ahsoka and now we're going to get it the definitive ahsoka i would say yeah it's definitely her most iconic look the and... green and the green yellowish lightsaber i'm so happy they decided to do the magna guard even though i associate that more with revenge of the sith but i don't care yep i don't care put it in whatever box it's such a cool design i really hope the cloak is soft goods please which some of these reveals actually had soft goods that is true so malik had soft goods yeah which was i was like yep and i mean hk 87 soft goods mm -hmm. and man oh man have they been showing a lot of love to droids with like the dark trooper ned b q90 new republic security droid hk 87 mm -hmm. and now they're doing the magna guard Hasbro, you know what I'm going to ask for. Let's get that super battle droid for the 20th celebration of the Clone Wars era. Clone Trooper Phase 2, all day, every day. It's another clone on my shelf. Yep. Whatever flavor. Well, it's going to be the regular white, which is a great army builder. This is the first time that it will also be non-exclusive in the line because the original Phase 2 Clone Trooper was an exclusive figure locked away in a not-so-great four-pack. I mean, it could still be exclusive, right? I don't think they pipeline exclusives. I don't think they've ever pipelined an exclusive figure. Hmm. Chat? Let us know. Pretty sure. And then Omega from Season 2 of The Bad Batch? Sure. Yeah. Fine. It, I mean, Omega seems like the odd one out because no one has seen Season 2, so it kind of just seems like, okay, like, you're... That's I mean, a little... we already know they're going to do the entire team, so it's like... Right. It just seems a little odd because we're so we're still kind of far out 
from Bad Batch Season 2, you'd think they'd want to announce this figure closer to when that's coming out so like yeah. the hype is surrounding it but when you put omega up with clone trooper magna guard and ahsoka you're like okay yeah. but i mean still Whatever. omega will be cool if for people who want the season two looks i already know in my heart of hearts especially with how expensive collecting is getting these days i'm not picking up season two bad batch characters i agree so i agree I already know I'm not going to be picking up this Omega, but the other three pipeline reveals were just absolutely incredible. And this was just a hot fire Black Series stream. Like I seen people even complaining about Vel today, which right. was bring home the galaxy. And I'm just like, did you forget about Saturday's reveals already? <laughs> yes, they did. Like, did you forget? And it's also like they complain so much about repaints and repacks and then we get a newly tooled figure they're like peg warmer mm -hmm. which I, I i mean I, they might the andor human figures I, might i am worried about they're the andor figures they're i am contenders but am you know worried. what i mean right right i get it i get it but anyways little side tangent aside <laughs> that those were the reveals so hopefully you enjoyed this episode to figure out we were a little bit late but we're getting right back on schedule i took a couple streams off because i got nieces and nephews that need birthday parties that need attending <laughs> yes. i got cousins coming in from states away so yeah um but we're back we're going to be back to our normal streaming schedule so be sure to continue to tune in especially this coming Sunday. But yeah, that is pretty much all we've got for you on this episode of Figure It Out. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. We're always talking about Star Wars The Black Series here on the channel. If you'd like to support us in a more direct way, we do also offer a channel membership for 99 cents a month. You get access to a custom clone trooper name badge and custom emojis that you can use on our videos and in our live streams, which are again, 1 p.m. Central Time, every single sunday it's a lot of fun sometimes we have guests sometimes it's just justin and i and we don't necessarily just talk about the black series we talk about other figures true. recent pickups true has lab reports rest in peace ghost rider engines of vengeance we also do have a small collection of merch if you are interested in that there are links for everything in the description down below you should also check out our discord it is a great way to join the out of the basement community get to know some other members also one of my favorite parts is the in stock alerts yeah so many people yeah. have gotten some really hot fire either add to cart orders or pre-orders mm -hmm. because of the ability to send everyone a notification that is part of our discord server so i think that's honestly my favorite feature is just people being able to get these really Especially in demand exclusives. figures yeah, yeah. Special thank you and shout out to our current channel members. Your continued support is truly appreciated. And thank you to everyone else out there for simply watching, liking, subscribing, sharing these videos with all of your Star Wars action figure loving friends. I'm Nate. Join with Justin. See you guys later. And we will see you next time on Out of the Basement.